Okay, now we'll start this religion section off with me by saying I am really open to religion. I had a spiritual revelation at 29 or 30, I can't remember, my memory is too bad. But it was miraculous, you know, it, it was actually a kundalini burn. I was walking up and down like a crackhead, didn't know what the fuck to do, you know, like I felt like I was on crack or cocaine, you know, not saying that I've done crack. You know, that cracks whack, you know? We can afford the good stuff, like Whitney Houston says. Not just fucking with y'all. But, um, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do. I was like, okay, so I've gone to church. My favorite subject in high school was RE, which was religious education. It was mandatory in the British Virgin Islands. And we had to learn the Bible, you know? And it was fascinating to me, like religion. If I had gone to college for four years, like a good girl should, I would probably have studied theology because it fascinates me. And I never understood like original sin. Like why would anybody give a shit if Eve ate the apple? She ate the apple, well, the fruit, right? Of the tree of knowledge. Like who wouldn't want to do that? I would. You know, when you further start to further start to investigate the whole religion arena and other religions come up because I grew up Methodist in this small town and I didn't even know there were other religions, you know, so growing up, I grew up really sheltered and I want to show my boys all of the mythology, the Norse mythology, the Greek mythology and move on to like African mythology like you have the Anansi stories here you know some of it is saturated and permeated the West Indian culture but it fascinates me and I think that we should talk about this a little bit more and we should ask the church questions that we don't really understand because they want us to not question just to conform and go to church and not question like hey how did the dinosaurs get here or perhaps like maybe I don't believe that the world is only 4,000 years old or I don't know like a couple of questions like raise a couple of red flags and it's not saying that I'm dissing the religion I just wanna I wanna be an aware global citizen and to be respectful of each person's religion while also you know attaching a level of radical responsibility over myself and my emotions so that I don't harm my fellow human being you know i'm trying to rid myself of all of the of the push but then keep a little bit of a spark because i'm low-key and i'm mischievous as hell and so i like to fuck with dumb people because seriously if you lead a life of of purity right this is the thing if i were an angel i get stiff bored i would be so bored out of my skull i would be like can't we do a little naughty you know what i'm saying and so I really don't know where I was headed with this. This is what happens when Jem Jem Super Skittles goes into Zen mode and is supposed to be talking about something deep and she gets so animated and worked up because most people don't know how to get to these heights. We just talk about weather and like football or whatever. Yeah, needless to say, my church didn't have an answer for what I was going through or, you know, at least give me the credit that I was going through something, you know? It's just not explained by the Christianity that I grew up on. And so the more you probe, the more you figure out like, oh yeah, well, Hinduism like exists, you know, like there's Taoism, there's Buddhism, there's like actually a whole bunch of other religions out there that could explain what you're going through. So yeah, I started to probe deeper so that I would more understand myself because knowing yourself self-knowledge is key to popping the spiritual matrix but most people don't know themselves because they they don't they aren't in touch with their roots ayahuasca is very good for helping you get there but you need to really consider like making amends with your family with your mother and your father because you know honor thy mother and father and that's not just by making enough money to put them in a nursing home it also um, means that you have to kind of take strides towards helping heal their relationship and that's why I'm fortunate that 
I was thrust into living with them again because although we'd like to move more towards that nuclear family where the grandparents are just like shunned or pushed to the side, we want to be intergenerational. You know, that's kind of how it is to be a tribe. And if you want to be more tribalistic and more matriarchal as a society, because the patriarchy that we were force fed through a religion that we were force fed, I feel it needs to become more of a balance balance more in the middle but I am curious and interested to see what other people say so I will be having a lot of religious interviews I hope because I'm bored with life <laughs>